Well, you know, there's a TV show out there on another network that claims they have a secret spice. The secret spice is really just crab oil, which you can actually go at any store and get cheaper than if you buy it online. It's actually just regular crab oil. And I just wrote a secret in there. It's not really a secret, it's just crab oil. We're just going to put some of that on there. Well, it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> This is going to be the best burger yet. Yay! Set it right over there on the grill. Just put it on the grill and you'll know where it is. Okay. Who's next? All right. Okay. And what and copy are you going burger. for? This sounded interesting. And then so did this. Jesus. Well, try, try the, I think the sun-dried tomatoes sounds really good myself. <laughs> sun-dried tomatoes are always pretty good. What we're going to do is we have one cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes, two-thirds cup of crumbled blue cheese, and we're actually going to reconstitute the sun-dried tomatoes with a cup of red wine. What we're going to do is we're going to make what's called a waltzing Matilda with a little twist to it. What we're going to do is we're going to take our wine glass We'll take a mixing glass, and first what we're going to do is we're going to use four ounces of white wine. There we go. After that, we're going to do one ounce of gin. Now, when I was in Australia, I actually had a pretty good time because I had kind of a difficult times over when I was in customs. Because when I got to the customs lady and I was entering in the country, they asked me if I had a criminal record and I, I told them I didn't think you still needed one. But anyway, we got our gin. We're just going to have a splash. You can use orange carousel or blue carousel. This is just going to give it some color, a little orange flavoring there. And in Australia, they used punch. But I'm not going to use any punch with the proliferation of energy drinks here in the United States, I'm just going to top it off with an energy drink, about halfway, and then I'm just going to put a little bit more club soda in there, and I know Grill Dog's got some ice in here, yeah, Grill Dog and them look like they're having a great time down there in the, the Hacienda, I wish I could join them, and there you go, one Wassy Matilda. Mmm, that's good. See you, grilled dog. Take it away. Although the rain did not dampen our spirits, we did have one or two problems. For example, the gas grills that we're supposed to grill up the burgers on, for some reason, just didn't work. And we're going to ask the eternal question, how many men does it take to fix a grill? We're not quite sure because we never fixed it. Anyway, we had some great burgers because the Traeger Smoker Grill was able to grill up the burgers. Unfortunately, the folks manning the grill kept the lid open. And if you remember from almost every Grill Dog episode, the more you leave the lid open, the longer it's going to take to cook anything, especially if it was on smoker setting of 300 degrees. So, as the day ended, we eventually got the burgers done. They were great. We had some great wine. We had some great friends, the Yellowfin, which is actually not tuna. I was confused, sorry. And some great chicken. And thanks to everybody. Hope you all had a great time. I know we sure did. It actually looks like it's halfway down. Well, that's our show for today. It was a great backyard barbecue. We had tons of people here. And you saw a lot of great things with food. You saw how you could stuff hamburgers. Just remember that if you're serving stuffed hamburgers, you have to let your people know because the inside stuffing could be a little bit hot and you don't want anybody to burn the inside of their mouth. And that's a grilled dog tip you can live by. We had some great tuna. We got to meet William and Tammy from La Hacienda de los Rosas. My good buddy here. What's his name again? Vistoso de Oro. Vistoso de Oro. Very good. Hey, I'm a world traveler. Too bad I can't speak English too well. <laughs> And we want to thank Bill Dog, who came and did what Bill Dog always does. Our writer, Jude Lieberman, for her efforts. And I actually sometimes use the words she writes for me. And she's quite happy on those moments. 
And everybody else came from the grill pack, and thank God, that's a wrap. If you're tired Let's head on out, partner. Lost, it was where the thrill of the grill meets the boss of the sauce. Grill dogs coming. Grill dogs coming. Grill dogs coming, gonna grill you up a mess. Can he grill a fish? He grill it just as you wish. Can he grill some muscles? Without even a tussle. Can he grill a steak? Come on, give me a break. But can he grill a mango? He does the grill a mango tango. Grill dogs coming. Grill dogs coming. Grill dogs coming, gonna grill you up a mess. Now, grill dogs' words are in this song. If you're not in it for food, fun, and friends, you're doing it wrong. And you walk that way. Go that way, okay. back into the crowd. Right, nobody walks in front of the stars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> except for Bill Dog. All right. And, we, and the problem is, you're really <laughs> under pressure because I haven't been splattered yet. Sure. So I can't retake this scene. Do you have a backup, have a backup shirt just in case? I no, I don't. No, <laughs> so you got to do it right. <laughs> this has to be so for real. Let's drink wine at 9 in the morning. Oh, uh. <laughs> You know I could sell oh, this stuff. <laughs> there you go. You could. <laughs> Hopefully I can sell my show. Proprietors of La, ha La Hacienda, <laughs> right there. La Hacienda de las Rosas. I love the tail hanging out. <laughs>